You ready? You already clicked. I did click it this time. She got me this time. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Top Tough. Let's bring you another live reaction. Today, we are doing an acapella group that you guys recommended after I did some pentatonics called Home Free. I believe that they were on the same talent show as pentatonics was. I don't know if they were in the same season, but it was called The Sing Off. I just where, remember Nick Lachey. Of course you remember Nick Lachey. I just... No, How am I supposed to compare those, to Nick not, Lachey, no, Thera? Not for those reasons. That's just, I don't remember the... It's been a while since that show's okay. been on. Mm -hmm. Does it even air anymore? I doubted it. Because all I remember is Pentatonix, and I know, I know I've heard Home Free before. Okay. Well, yeah. before I go any further, I need to introduce my co-host who has a incredible sensation for Nick Lachey. I, that, no, I don't. <laughs> Anyways, yes, this is my oh, wife, Sarah. Hello, everybody. Mm -hmm. Good evening. She's not so innocent, I swear. Good. I love you. Me too. Okay. Anyways, yes, we're going to do Home Free, the song Ring of Fire, featuring Avi Kaplan, former bassist for Pentatonix. They got a new guy. I haven't heard I him yet. No, he's The new guy is good, but I do miss. Yeah, I, I think you guys told me on our Pentatonix reactions that he's off doing his own thing maybe we're gonna have to check him out i don't know but i did like this guy a lot him and uh the short guy uh mitch he's a short guy he's short Expensive. but he's an incredible singer like crazy good yeah. singer anyways that's not what we're here for we're here for home free ring of fire and it's featuring avi so i'm excited right. about it I'm so, with that John being Cash. said, we do have a Patreon if you guys would like to go check that out. It helps support not just me, but my incredible wife here and our four beautiful children. And it helps continue grow our channel and allow me to put out <laughs> daily content for you guys. So please go have a look. I appreciate it. And thank you to our current patrons that are already subscribed thank to the channel. You. So, let's dive right in. Home free, ring of fire. Away we go. Love is a burning thing. Oh, you can feel it. it. You can feel the bass. a fiery ring. Oh. And bound by wild desire, I fell in. Before we go any further, um, I don't know if you guys have noticed. I don't know if you noticed that how ironic that they're actually around a fire. It's like they planned it. Maybe. Maybe it was spontaneous. Maybe the fire was already there. I don't and know. And like, let's record a video. Let's just do a Johnny this. Cash song right here on this incredible fire. Yeah. I don't know. But so far, yeah, like you said, you can literally feel the bass like yes, just going through your body. Like, Doesn't it ah. make you feel like think about like Christmas, like homey Christmas, like when you hear all the like. I don't get a Christmas feel to this. No, no, the song is not a Christmas song, but just the harmonics and like the deep bass, like old Christmas time songs. I you guess. lost me. It's it just okay. Makes you me try. feel warm inside. Well, yeah, yeah. Okay, fine. If you're talking about that part of it, sure. Yeah, and okay, he has this like that. old, like old school, like the nostalgic Christmas songs, like some where, Louis Armstrong. Where, yeah, where it's just like it's just calm and there's yeah, it's very calm. harmonics and yeah, I I I love acapella music. I don't listen to enough of it because I don't know a lot of acapella groups other than well, this band now, uh, Pentatonix, uh, Boys to Men, my favorite. Favorite acapella. I mean, you can't really. They can do acapella, but I mean, those guys in the '90s were a big part of my mm. life growing up. I, my oldest brother was a huge fan, and I got to listen to them through him. Uh, but yeah, those guys are, they're they're legends. They they are mm. absolute legends. But anyways, let's continue on. So far, uh, this is cool because we have double. We have two bass. Two bass yes. singers. Like this is gonna be really cool. All right, let's go. Into a ring of fire. I fell into a burning ring of fire. I went down, 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 and the flames went higher. And it burns, burns, burns. The ring of fire. The ring of fire. Wow. The taste of love is sweet. When hearts like 
scars me And I fell for you like a child Whoa If I win wild oh, oh I fell into a burning ring of fire I went down, down, down And the flames went higher And it burns, burns, burns The ring of fire The ring of fire Yeah, love is a burning thing And it burns, burns, burns The ring of fire amazing that is uh, hang on i i'm just going back to that i <laughs> shut up you want to hear it too guys hey is it further back yeah oh fire wow yeah um never heard somebody go that low or even close to um, I don't even know how you would attempt something like that. I don't know. That was, <laughs> that, that was, I don't, I'm speechless. I'm just, I don't know. You say something. I, I just, I love that. Like, well, one, the two bases, but they both have severely different tones. Like mm -hmm. they're obviously more of a country group. So you hear that. And I don't know this guy's their main bassist name but like like he could go solo almost like a he josh was, turner he, like yeah absolutely like he even had like the like the little yodel in his voice and then like the guy from avi from the pentatonix his is a little more smoother and probably because i i don't i don't know why but his his tone obviously it didn't have a country sound to it but it worked yeah Together with it was cool. Bass. Like I'm glad that they made this song more of about them two because this is yeah. a perfect song to showcase what they just did. And it was yeah. cool to see them go back and forth and then yeah. at the end come together. I liked that. That was very, very pleasant yeah. to listen to. But that final note was... <laughs> Could you imagine doing that song without a bass? Like just It'd be just so tinny and like... Yeah, it wouldn't work. No. You, you have to have with the yeah. You have to have that. Um, otherwise, you just do a different yeah. song. But that mm -hmm. was, and you guys weren't kidding about reacting to this one. This was uh, Home Freeze is the real deal. And Avi, I've already explained how I felt about him and the other Pentatonix reactions. But um, wow, yeah, that was that was awesome to listen to. So thank you for that recommendation. Yes. Uh, yeah, I could listen to these all day. Yeah, I think just, I could too. Yeah. I could definitely just. Chill out and yeah, relax and listen to this type of acapella music for sure. Hundred percent. The fact that they they all have their own different voice, but then they have to know how to blend with each other too. Yeah, I wonder like how much practice it takes to like form a song. Like a lot. Yeah, but I mean at the same time, like, is it easier to perform with just your singing voice instead of just using instruments? Because I mean they're completely different, obviously. I don't, I don't know. Well, I know, like, for me, like, singing and playing, like, playing an instrument, um, you can almost hide behind it. Some, and yeah. I don't, what I play, it's just chords. So it's not like I'm, and sometimes here and there I'll do little, like, lead lines or something with the keys. But, like, I, I don't know, with your voice, they are being the instrument. So they right. need to, like use certain voice inflections and do different vowel shapes and different things with their voice to create the sound of an instrument. Otherwise it does just sound like a voice. 
Right. But if you listen closely, like they're they're trying to sound like an actual instrument. So I mean, and and to be able to blend, they have to blend with each other. Um, with an instrument, a guitar sounds like a guitar. A piano sounds like piano. You just have to make sure you're not mixing in with each other's ranges. You're not mudding over each other. But I mean, well, a keyboard could sound like anything now because it's True. electronic. But I just mean like, yeah, they're trying to sound like instruments or at least pentatonics is very much like that yeah i mean um yeah this band is a lot different than pentatonics pentatonics i mean they pretty much try and cover from what i've seen so far and what you guys have recommended is that they kind of follow every genre um or do all different types of genres as to where this band or this uh, acapella group is more country and maybe i'm wrong I, i don't know enough about these guys maybe they do pop and rock i i have no idea but just from the two videos that i've seen this one and um man of constant sorrow yeah they definitely have like the country theme and that's totally fine i mean we we practically almost live in the sticks we we're very close there's a lot of cornfields where we live Mm -hmm. so this type of attire that they're wearing and how they're presenting their music and their sound uh, the way they talk is very similar to what we live in. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this, it's really, really extraordinary to listen to. Yeah, the vet, yeah, just trying to fill out the sound just with your voice. I mean, yes, it's hard to, well, I mean, you have to have two talents, right, if you're playing an instrument and singing. So, right. yes, it takes a lot of practice, but yeah, you have to fill out a whole sound, like what instruments would do, you have to do voice. But I'm sure there's, I don't know, you can mess with different frequencies and things like that if you're the sound guy and make things, I don't know. I don't know I I wanna, I, I'd details. want to hear these guys live yeah. um, and see how they sound. I'm sure they're just as good uh, based off what your guys' feedback is as far as, like, demanding I react to this this group as well as Pentatonix. <laughs> um, so I'm assuming it's going to be very similar. But I do remember Pentatonix on that show, and, yeah, yeah. They, were, they were very good. they pretty sure they won. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I just remember seeing these guys, but I can't remember in my head their sound at that time. But I mean, if they were like this, I assume they probably won too. Uh, but wow, uh, incredible, incredible cover of Johnny Cash. Yeah. So good job to you guys. Very good job of recommending this and bringing this group to my attention. It was very pleasant to listen to. So with that being said. I am Tom Duffnuts. If you enjoyed this reaction, feel free to like and subscribe and come on back for more. I'll tell you what, for some more reaction videos of (laughs) not just these guys, but other acapella groups, not just acapella, but you can get some country here. You can get some rock, you can get some metal, you can get some rap, you can get some whatever whatever you guys want. I'm not the one necessarily picking the music. You guys are doing it for me. I'm just reacting to it. That's all. So, yeah, you guys kind of control the channel for me. I just enjoy giving my thoughts and feelings and a little bit of knowledge I have, but that's why I bring my other half here because she knows a lot more than I do. I'm only what I've taught myself. I'm not a professional, people. (laughs) Okay. Okay. Whatever you say. Yeah. But anyways, thank you to my lovely wife for joining me on this reaction. It's always a pleasure. Yeah. For the most part. Thanks. Except you Mm. still think about Nick Lachey. I don't. And George Clooney. Actually, we've not watched a George Clooney movie in a long time. That's because I have him blocked from any search. Oh, stop. It's just, he's an attractive person. I don't even know if he makes movies anymore. I haven't seen him actor. forever. I know. He's he probably done. I mean, probably. He's old. He can be done. He's old. Anyways, thank you guys for joining us. Until next time, friends, stay safe. Yes. Healthy. Healthy. That's a good choice. Mm hmm. And we happy. will. S- oh, happy. Happiness yeah. is always important. Joyful, hopeful. Okay, Thesaurus, relax. Uh, but yes, please <laughs> join us on the next live reaction with me, Tom Toughnuts, and possibly my incredible wife, Sarah. Yeah. I'm Goodbye. Around. Bye.